The retail industry is experiencing a mixed bag of news. On one hand, retail is thriving for most types of stores, but on the other hand, rents are increasing. Issue lies in the fact that there is a significant gap between the demand for retail space and the supply available. The situation has different implications depending on whether you're a store owner or a landlord. For instance, the overall average occupancy rate for retail centers across the country stands at 95.4%, while the new development represents less than 0.3% of the total inventory. Spaces under 5,000 square feet have seen the highest demand, largely due to the opening of quick service restaurants. However, larger spaces over 25,000 square feet also show limited availability. Additionally, this year has seen more store openings than store closings. Why is there a lack of retail space supply? Well, mainly because the cost of capital and competition for land have hindered the justification for new development in the retail sector. As a result, anchored strips shopping centers are trading at an average of 55% of their replacement costs, compared to about 48% pre-COVID. Now, one consequence of the shortage of retail space is the rush to occupy locations once occupied by bankrupt big box stores like Bed Bath & Beyond, which tend to be in highly desirable areas. The persistently high occupancies, the lack of retail product deliveries over the past decade, and the challenges preventing future construction starts have created the perfect storm for meaningful rent growth in the retail sector, and as well, long-term values for their investors. In conclusion, I predict that with strong operating fundamentals and the capital markets thawing, lenders and investors will no longer be afraid of retail as an asset class, leading to more capital flowing into the space. Now, if you require the assistance of a commercial real estate broker, I can be reached at 281-222-0433. Thanks for your time and have a good week.